Howdy gang, Tiger is back from windy Arizona. I don't have a microphone to stick to my shirt yet. I think I may have to buy one, but for now, I'm going to speak a little bit louder so that you can hear me. Got it? So, um, I did run the wrong video on Monday, so anyone who thought I had a sale Tuesday morning, my apologies, I messed that one up. But, now we're running the right, the right video. Because I'm playing this actually Tuesday, April 12th, as soon as I get this recorded, it will upload. Because I have two sales this week. On Wednesday, tomorrow, April 13th, I'll be visiting with my friend Trisha from Sandy and Otto on her channel at, was it 4 o'clock Eastern Time? So you can see me Wednesday, 4 o'clock Eastern Time at Sandy and Otto. Um, I do, I did have a, a notice po posted in my community tab, so check it out. Also, my regular sale Thursday morning, 11 a.m. with, um, with someone. I think I have a guest Thursday morning and I'm, tot I'm totally drawing a blank right now. I apologize because I should probably announce my guest. Oh, I am so sorry. But I will look it up and um, I will post something about that as well soon. Either today or tomorrow, probably tomorrow. I usually post these a day in advance only because I know attention spans. I know my attention span. I cannot pay attention more than a day in advance so and I know a lot of you in the same way so I'd like to post things one day ahead but what I have is I have some extra stuff from my hauls that I haven't shown you yet and some of that's gonna be sold this week so I figured I would let I would share the beauty beautiful pieces with you but first even more beautiful piece now this is not for sale this is a piece that I'm just totally proud of This piece I had, I picked up this drawing at the uh, Sunny Slope Arts Festival on, in October in Phoenix from the artist. And then I had this frame done. Now I've been, I've been wanting a purple frame forever. And I figured this is a perfect opportunity. So I was looking up frames, I found one, it was perfect, out of stock. Well, then I found plan B, it was almost perfect, out of stock. So this is the third choice. And you know what? I love it. I can't even tell anymore this is only third choice frame. I mean, this frame, it looks like denim or something. It is totally cool with this, with this tree that was, that, uh, um, that was done in Colorado. The artist was in Colorado and uh, that's where they, where they, where they did that. I'm so happy with this piece now. So I figured I'll share. Cool, huh? <laughs> totally cool. <laughs> now I gotta find, find a spot for it. Uh, one of these days when I'm not too swamped with everything else, I'm going to start taking stuff down and removing, I'm um, changing out things on my walls. But what else did we get that I haven't shown you yet? Ah, uh, this totally cool green vase still has the tag on the other side but that's okay I'll take that off later that may or may not be in one of the sales tomorrow then there's this one I actually love this this piece I love the color I'm not a big fan of red but that dark red I actually like I actually like that and it's got some bubbles then there is this piece that I could not I've not figured out and I wish I had two but there's only one this is the weirdest looking candle holder. I mean, I've seen candle holders of this style, but usually they were like pewter or silver. I've never seen a glass one like this. And it's got kind of like, like, I don't know, I keep wanting to say some sort of animal. It reminds me of, initially I was thinking leopard spots, but they're not spots, they're not stripes either. They're in between. Sprites, stripes. <laughs> So that was one I picked up recently. Here are a couple of pieces I just picked up. Now this one is a crystal and I haven't figured it out yet. It looks kind of like the Polish check pattern but it's not marked so there's no sticker or nothing. 
And then there's this one, I believe it was in Vienna or something. It was I, I had that looked up and I of course I've I don't I don't remember but I got written down. Um that will be at a sale this week, so once you once you show up for my sale, you'll know what this is. And this piece it also has a cork which I didn't bring now. I think that was made in Canada, as Misty likes to say. I really like this piece. That's totally cool. And then there are a couple more blue pieces that I picked up from the uh, estate sale that I didn't show you yet. I showed you some of the other blue pieces and now my battery died. So there's this one. And then there's that one. And I'm pretty sure they go together. At least that's what I'm, gonna, I'm planning on selling them at least back to back. So one person, if they're interested, can buy both pieces. It's not made to go together. The plate is a little bit bigger than the other piece, but it looks like it should be together. But maybe it was made to go together. If you know, let me know, because I'm not sure. So that's that. And then there is, I don't know if I showed you this frame yet. I really like this frame. Now the picture is kind of faded and, you know, nothing spectacular. But that frame is beautiful. I really like that frame. I was thinking about putting one of my own pictures in there, but uh, I don't have anything that, that looks good in that frame. Then here's the other piece. I showed you the other piece that goes with it. And this is the box that was uh, marked a cigarette box. I don't know, it looks to me more like it should be in a bathroom or something. Especially with the other piece together. And the pink. Even though there was a time when women were smoking just as much as men. <laughs> then I had a collection of little kitty kitty kitties. Can't have a haul without kitty kitty kitties. <laughs> Aren't they cute? They're just the cutest kitty kitty kitties. <laughs> oh, there's a couple more little ones. So that's the whole family. I think I'm gonna keep that family for now. But then I may. I may offer it. Maybe someone else will give them a better home than I do. And I can, because I have so many kitties. And you know how kitties are? They have their, their areas and stuff. They don't like to, to keep getting new, new, fa new family members by default, just because people think they need to have more. Then they get all nasty and fight each other, you know. This Mark does it all the time. He was just scrolling at Mr. Mr. No Tail today, and Mr. No Tail is a, is a sweet guy. And I don't know what happened to his tail, but I'm pretty sure something not fun happened to his tail. I mean, he does have a little bit of a stump, so it's not completely no tail, but that's what I call him. So, because he's black and white like all of them, <laughs> he may be part of the same family. And this is Czechoslovakia piece. I guess it's a little creamer. I just absolutely love the design on this. It is just so beautiful. And even though it looks like the design is a little bit rubbed off, I don't know, but I'm thinking it was probably made that way. I wish it was a bit bigger, because it's so small, you cannot see it that well. But that's definitely a piece that I would display in my house. And it is marked. I love that piece. And I have another one of these. I had a round one, and this is the... <laughs> that is made... Here we go, it is marked, it's made in flag in Arizona. I don't know how many people make these things. This is amazing. It's amazing art. That's sand. Colored sand. And it makes such a beautiful picture. Ooh, look. Another kitty kitty kitty. With the kitty family. <laughs> then I have a swanny swanny swanny. Unfortunately, it's only one and he's small. But he's cool. I don't know what he was or if he ever had a lid or if there was more to the family. If you know, let me know in the comments below. Oh, I like that. If you know, let me know in the comments below. Oh, <laughs> I am so good. I am a... Who am I, a poet? Oh, Tiger the Poet. So there's that. And there's another one of those shoes. It doesn't look like the Fenton shoes. It looks like a... That's funny because it's, it's open there on the bottom. And it doesn't have the kitty. But it's a nice piece. And the wind is coming back. I'm sorry if you don't hear me. Then I have a collection of salt cellars. <laughs> These two look like they're definitely a pair. This one too. 
There was only three. I'm sure there was more to the collection. I love that purple. I really only picked up the purple one, but then I had the other one. I had to pick up the other one because they're the family, the salt cellar family. I, again, I hate to split them apart. And then I got this guy. I got them from different estate sales, so they were not, they did not travel together initially. But they're the same shade of purple. Hi, <laughs> purple. Perfect. And there is another one of these uh, blue birds of happiness. And it is marked. It's the real deal. Yep, yep, yep. It's the real deal. And it's an excellent shape. And it's not the one that I got from Misty. That one I still have. This one I picked up at the estate sale. And there's another one of these guys. And I know there's supposed to be more. Actually, there's a whole box of um, uh, little Disney and stuff figurine that she gave me that I, I didn't bring out now. But that's another haul again. There's also all these books, but I don't know. I hate to show books because I'm so worried about them falling apart. They're in such bad shape, but they're antique. They're real old books. And there's the salt and pepper shakers. Or maybe they're, yeah, they're different size holds. They're just so pretty. I couldn't help myself. Uh, well, this one is kind of like the cork is inside, but it's at least they still have the cork. They're not plastic. And then they're made in Japan. And the pièce de résistance. Ta-da! Isn't that stunning? <laughs> Isn't that stunning? This is fairly big and fairly heavy. It's an excellent shape. I may bring that to one of these sales this week. Or I may, I may, or may wait till May. You never know. You're gonna have to check out the sales and find out if you want this piece. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a nice piece. Gosh, those colors. <laughs> it's a bit on the heavy side, so I do ship from Arizona. If that's a concern for you, be aware. But that's not a speech I should be holding now. That's a speech I should be holding um, during the sale. You know what? That was it already. Again. And of course, again, I forgot half the sh at, uh, inside. You know, why do I keep doing that? That's just so me. I, I always forget something. Every time. I can never get everything under control. Even if I write things down, and there comes Bismarck home. He was sleeping for most of the time this morning. And then he was going to go outside in the front, and Mr. No-Tail was outside. Oh, uh, he didn't like that. And then he was, he was mad. He went back to sleep. He said, screw that, I'm going back on the couch. I don't need to deal with this guy, I'm just going back on the couch. And then eventually he went back out, out here and went to sleep under the, under the tree in the shade. Because it's a beautiful day today. It's not, it's not too hot, it's not too cold. I mean, it is warmish, but it's just nice. And it's probably the last, well, one of the last nice days of the year before it gets yikes because by april 15 a lot of times it hits 100. i i remember one year i was at work i was cruising around the patrol car and uh i heard on the radio 100 degrees it was nasty and i don't know if that was the same year but it was around the same year when uh when it was still 100 on halloween october 31st it was 100 degrees that's why i need to leave arizona as much as I love this house and I love this property and Bismarck especially loves it here. But, uh, the summers. I should do the snowbird thing, but I would still have to take Bismarck with me and that's kind of hard. Because he is such an indoor-outdoor kitty. I mean, the older he gets, the more time he spends indoor, indoors, but he still wants his yard and he still wants to be outside. He doesn't go away. I mean, he doesn't, you know, run off that far anymore. He doesn't spend, t you know, he doesn't run across the street or anything much. I mean, yeah, across the street on the other side where all the ferals live, he, he hangs out with them. But other than that, he's pretty home, pretty homely now in his old days. When he was younger, he was always out there fighting and he was, he came home with, with scars and, and with uh, limping and whatnot. And I heard him out there with the growling and the caterwauling and all that stuff but that's all gone now we don't hear much of that anymore but 
I'm gonna have to go and get ready for that sale tomorrow. There's still a few more items that I need to I need to find for that sale. For the and then for my Thursday sale. I think I wanna bring some ephemera. If you would like me to bring some ephemera, you know the deal. Comments below. Please give me a thumbs up. Or a thumbs down. Give me a thumb. And as uh Cindy from Mimi's Treasure Cottage likes to put it, just say hi in the comments. <laughs> or as the fat birds do, name this episode in the comments. So, you know the deal. You all keep it real. Hopefully we'll see you all at 4 o'clock Eastern, Wednesday, April 3rd, or 11 o'clock Eastern AM, Thursday, April, uh, April 14th. Did I say April 3rd? I meant 13th. And Thursday, April 14th. Until then, you all know the deal. You all keep it real. Kaboom.